Yesterday I was talking to one of the guys at my job and um, he said he used to have a Regal and I was telling him what's wrong, well, what's happening with my car, that it's running funny at red lights and stuff on idle. He told me that um, he changed it. Uh, he was having the same problem and he put a new one of these in and the problem went away. So... I already bought one of these and I already installed it. This is the one that I installed. Um, it's in the car right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one back in. This is the original one. Uh, you can see it says GM. This is the original one for my car. So I'm going to put this back in and see if it runs better or whatever. It can't hurt nothing. Might as well try. Instead of I, I looked online for this one. I think it's like, I think eighty dollars, seventy five dollars, the cheapest I could find this original one. And the, this one that I bought it was only twenty two dollars. And this is not original. This is United Automotive. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is put this one back in the original one and see if it runs better hopefully this um will work i can't believe i still got this thing i looked through my storage boxes and um i found it it's a good thing i didn't throw it away but this was the paper that came with the the new one it says that i'm gonna need white thermal grease and i'm gonna need uh clear dye dielectric silicone grease so I think I got some kind of grease in my trunk in the toolbox but I'm pretty sure I don't have that white thermal grease so I'm gonna go to the power store and get some white thermal grease and put this in and hopefully this will work and I won't have that um car running rough on idling hopefully but we'll see I doubt it but it's worth trying. You never know. This thing could be the reason why. So, let's go get that. Um, oh, I gotta get dressed first, but let's go to the pot still and get some grease. Leaving O'Reilly's right now. They don't. Um, they don't have it. But I checked online. AutoZone has it. Why is this stuff got to be so far, man? I got to go to Pawtucket just to get some grease. It's crazy. It's a pot store. Why don't you have white, what was it? White um, thermal grease. So now I got to go all the way to Pawtucket, Armistice Boulevard, to get some grease. I don't, every house I move to, I never move close to a pod store. It's always far away. But I'm going to go to Pawtucket, I guess, because they said they got it online. That little packet is a lot of money, too, for some grease. But I'm going to go to Pawtucket and get it and put it on. I might just put it on in the parking lot. Who knows? But I'm going to go to Pawtucket right now hopefully they got it it says they got it online so gonna go there All right, so um, this auto zone had it, the one in Pawtucket, Amos's Boulevard. I went in there, the lady, uh, I asked her for white thermal grease. I had to pull out my phone and give her the, um, get it a part number. Well, I don't understand why you can't just type search in your computer, search white thermal grease, but I got it the part number right here. Let me get in the car. It's the part number right there. 
Look at this little thing. Five thirty something for this little pack of thermal grease. That's crazy. I'll show you guys the receipt. It's a long one. Five thirty four came up to just for that little that little pack of thermal paste. That's some expensive stuff. It's like crack, I guess, for your car. I don't know. But I'm going to find a spot to um, do this in. I don't know where I'm going to do it at. I could do it right here in the parking lot. But I'm going to find a place to go to, to install this. So let me see what I can find. I stopped at McCoy Stadium. Let me get all the tools ready and um, put this old thing back on and see what happens. So I pull up in the parking lot and there was nobody here. But as soon as I pull in, another car pulls in, then another car pulls in. doing now is taking I don't even know what they call it the distributor cap hold down things you have to spin it so to unlock it there's four of them Gotta take the, the two plugs off the cap. One's off. Two's off. The black plug and the pink plug. I don't know, the pink one's right here, the black one is right here move that to the side take the rotor off Do this as fast as possible. It's only supposed to be 60 degrees today. It's already hot. I think it's hot more hard than 60 degrees. That's a uh, now the thing that I want to get off is down in here. Show you guys real quick. It would be nice if I can get a better angle than this.
show you guys the piece that I'm taking out, where it's at. It is this thing that says United right here. It's one there and one there. I gotta take those off and unplug it. It is two, two um, prongs on this side and there's four on the other side. So I'm just gonna take that out right now. I don't even remember why I changed that. I think I changed it just because I wanted, just because I wanted a new one. So let me take that off. some more cars I'm telling you I park here because there was no cars here and now the place is getting packed over here all right one screw put that where I won't lose it one more put that on here so I don't lose it now that's loose take my screwdriver and unplug it Try to get the plug unplugged. What I'm doing now is just lifting it a little. Slid it out of that plug. I don't know if these guys can see, but... I hope you can see what I'm doing, but... Sure. All right, that one is a little uh, came out. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna keep this just in case. But what I have to do now is clean. Clean where that was at because there's paste, paste in here. Just wipe that with a rag. Right now, I'm just cleaning the excess paste out of there, and then I'm gonna um, use. I supposed to use brake cleaner, but I don't have any brake cleaner on me. So I'm just gonna use cob cleaner. Clean that off. Really good. I'm bringing these guys over here to see, show you what I'm doing. Because I don't know if you can see or not. So, I want to hurry up and do this too before phone starts getting hot. See that? I'm just cleaning this off right here. Cleaning that off with some, um, it says brake cleaner, but I don't have any. I only got cob cleaner. So, I'm just cleaning, wiping that down really good. I'm going to, um, Spray some more. Spray it one more time and wipe it. Hopefully I get all that old stuff off. That's where the That is where the um, the white thermal grease goes. Yeah, that stuff. I don't. I don't understand why it's so hard to get that stuff, and that stuff is really expensive. All 
All right, this is the old one, the original one. I'm just gonna clean, wipe the um, terminals down, make sure they're nice and clean. I hope this thing works, man. I'm tired of playing with this guy. Just wait, I'm just wiping it down real quick. Just make sure everything's clean. What I'm gonna do is uh, put this thermal grease in here, on it, on the bottom of it. And I'm gonna try to put some on that plate that I just showed you that I cleaned off down there. Probably don't have to since it's on since it's on the thing already, but that probably I don't know. I don't think so, but that might have been the problem because it looked like the stuff that I had on there was clear. Maybe because they say that that um, thermal grease is to to um, stop slow down the heat. Maybe the thing was getting too hot. I don't know. We'll see. But I do know that thing works because I drove the car. You see, it's kind of white, but it's not the same kind of. This is like. That one is like sticky, and this one is like some kind of regular grease. Oily grease. But. They say to put some of this on the um, terminal, the terminals too. So I'm gonna do it because I don't want anything going wrong. This is supposed to help with the, um, so you don't get corrosion. Here comes some more cars too. I'm telling you, man. That's good enough, so I'm gonna put it in place. First, I have to wipe my hands and get this grease off my hands. I'm gonna put the plug this in. One 
plug this three plugs there's three wires of one plug that goes closer to the firewall and then there's a plug with a I have to put it in the other way. I gotta put the one with the two plugs in first. The way the plug's made, it doesn't let you put that in. So, so the one closer to the center of the distributor, that plug goes in first, and then you put the one close to the firewall with the three wires and now I'm sliding it in the other side that slid in get these two screws and screw them in do it by hand first make sure they thread it right all right, that one's good. They're both good. Now I'm gonna tighten them up. Put this, put this old one back in the box, just in case. I saved that one. It's a good thing I saved that one. Cause I was what if. Don't really want to spend $75, $80 for another one. Tighten this down and put everything back together. Don't tighten too much because tighten it because you don't you see how little those screws was you don't want to break those. All right, I'm gonna put the cap back on the rotor. I mean, it's only one way this thing goes on. You can't mess it up because it has the notch right here and there's a notch in the distributor. So. You see that notch right there? There's not one on the other side. There's only one right there. So there's only one way this thing can go on and it's just like that. Tighten this up. By hand first, so you don't mess up the thread. And do not tighten this too much either because you don't want to break this. Because it is plastic and it is, those screws are not really that strong, so don't break those. Get all the hoses out of the way. This thing should lock down. Once I get everything out of the way, like this alarm siren thing, get these hoses out of here. It should, it just locked into place. Once it's locked into place, you can wiggle it and it will not move. Just had it, but what happened was uh, the distributor hold the down thing came up. I gotta just spin it. That's it. 
All right, it's locked into place. You see how you can't can't move it. I'm gonna lock it down. All four. You gotta push down and, and twist. Lock that in place. Make sure nothing's in the way because right now this holes is in the way. Yeah, make sure nothing's in the way of those distributed cab lockdown thing. Because you want it seated right. All right, all four is on. I'm gonna plug this black plug in. The black plug goes first because if not, the other one will be in the way. So that clicked into place. And this pink one goes here where it says battery on the um, distributor cap, the pink wire. And that's it. Everything's back together. I'm gonna put the air cleaner back on. Put everything back together. This vacuum line right here. Put this in this tube into this thing that goes into the valve cover. This holes over here goes in here. And what else? This thing. This aluminum flex thing over here it goes on like that, and this goes into there. That. Start this thing up and see what happens. The motor is still shaking, but I'm gonna drive it. See if it's better. But right now, from seeing the motor shake, I don't think it did anything. But I'll let you guys know next video if the car's running better or what. But hey, I tried. I was just thinking that maybe something was wrong with this one. It is new, but just because it's new doesn't mean that it's working right. But that's it for this, this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Show you guys around where I'm at. This is the old, I don't even, I think they shut it down. This is the McCoy Stadium. These are the people that pulled up. There was nobody here when I came. Now there's four other cars. Four other cars. McCoy Stadium says it down there. Pawtucket. There goes the name of the fields right there. But thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe. Mike GTV, this is my Cutlass, uh, 84 Cutlass Supreme, 
still not fixed from the accident. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna show you the tools I used to do this job. Flathead screwdriver. And quarter inch socket. Can't zoom in on this thing. Quarter inch. I just had it. I don't know. It's quarter inch and a um, flathead screwdriver. And get you some brake cleaner. This is all I had. But it did the job. It cleaned it, cleaned the area that I needed to be cleaned.